Hello students, welcome to EPG Patshala. I am Dr. Asif Ali Sayyid from the Department of Business Administration, Aligarh Muslim University, Aligarh. Today, we shall be discussing about the module Role of Corporate Social Responsibility in Social Entrepreneurship of the paper Skill Development and Social Entrepreneurship. After completing this module, the students will be able to understand the concept and relevance of corporate social responsibility in social entrepreneurship. Also, they would get familiar with the dimensions of corporate social responsibility initiatives towards socially responsible enterprises. Introduction Corporate social responsibility is backed by a simple idea. Give back to society something in return for what your business has received from it. The resources, customers, place of work, etc. Corporate social responsibility initially implied that companies were working not just to the letter of the law but with the spirit of the law and that companies were operating in an ethical rather than in a legal manner. However, with passage of time, companies have surpassed this to a state where they now are actively involved in the betterment of the society in aspects and areas which may not even be remotely connected to their field of operations. It is based on the fact that organizations firstly don't harm anyone around them, rather they are involved in doing good for others. Today, corporate social responsibility has become an integral part of organizations' business strategies and for reasons that go beyond an entrepreneur's philanthropic nature, rather it plays a much larger role in the success of the business itself. Benefits of Corporate Social Responsibility The first benefit is cost saving. Being responsible with the resources that nature provides us helps safeguard the lives of future generations. But at the same time, it gives present benefits in terms of lower costs for your company. Companies are shifting to more efficient modes of operations, shifting to renewable sources of energy and adopting practices that are giving them financial advantages. Second is brand differentiation. Customers are becoming more educated, more aware of current societal problems and thus they also want to contribute to it in any way whatsoever to help solve these issues. Thus, when they get to know that they can buy simple products that they acquire for their daily lives from a company that works for societal development, then they will definitely opt for it. This helps the company to stand out from the competition. Third, get the best workforce. We all have the desire to help the needy, but only a few are able to let go of all the material positions in life and devote their lives to the other's betterment. Thus, majority of us who are doing jobs to help sustain our families also have a desire to help others. This is why employees opt to work for companies where they know that their actions play a much bigger role in the scope of life. Promotion of organizations. Corporate social responsibility activities followed by companies are easily to be viewed and the costs involved with their implementation. As a marketing expense, it is better to attract people's attention and adoration by helping those who are in need and by working for the society. The CSR Mindset Paying penalties for harming the surrounding rather than adopting the more expensive but legally required practices Doing no harm to society as the damages to be paid for breaking the regulations was increased exponentially to the present where companies work together towards improvements of the society for moral satisfaction as well as great monetary benefits received from this. Scarcity of natural resource corpus dismissals but high profits at the same time Looming climate catastrophe, financial crisis, corporate fraud and child labor are just a few examples one may have heard about regarding business ethics or corporate social responsibility. 
These matters raise questions about justness for present as well as future generations. The task of corporate social responsibility is to prevent these and other morally reprehensible practices which can weaken societies, damage companies and hurt employees. However, corporate social responsibility is not just about preventing these bad practices, it's about how these companies earn profit, not about how they spend them. Numerous companies devote resources to their local communities to reduce the negative impact their business operations may have. For example, a firm located in a poor community might build a school, offer medical services or help improve the local community's irrigation and sanitation condition. To consider the importance of ecological and social aspects of doing business, few firms go for the triple bottom line approach which focuses on social, environmental and economic matters also known as people, planet and profit. This approach is utilized for calculating and reporting a firm's corporate routine against its economic, social and environmental performance. It pushes corporate businesses towards the goal of sustainable development through a wider range of objectives that just profit alone. The idea is for an organization to be sustainable, it must be financially secure with minimum impacts on its environment, all while confirming to societal expectations. Corporate social responsibility is a broad notion that addresses issues ranging from human rights to economic development to environmental effects. It is interpreted differently by each company and country, but whatever the definition may be, the purpose of this noble concept is to work effectively towards sustainability. Social Entrepreneurship Social Entrepreneurship is a distinctive approach towards business that highly focuses on social services and social engagements. They are just like any other business with work changed at market rates and also generating profits. But what makes it a business on a human scale is the way that profit is used. Social enterprises do not serve to enlarge the wealth of their owners or shareholders. Rather, they operate to contribute to social equality and improve the living conditions of the people in the community. The generated profit is reinvested in the business or in realizing social goals such as job creation, social inclusion, cultural needs, health care and overall sustainability. A social enterprise places social goals ahead of increased profits and uses businesses as a means of social change by resolving social problems through marketing strategies. In social entrepreneurship, the success of the business is measured in terms of the positive social and ecological impact. Just like corporate social responsibility, the aim of a social entrepreneur is to balance economic, social and environmental goals that help working towards sustainability. Social entrepreneurs identify social problems and use their entrepreneurial skills to create products, systems and solutions that aim at creating positive changes in matters ranging from human rights to economic development to environmental effects. Social entrepreneurs are change agents and disruptors. However, there is still a lot of confusion around the profit motives of the social entrepreneurs. Social enterprises can be both a non-for-profit and for-profit business. A transformational product or system that these social enterprises produce might also bring significant financial gains when brought to scale. The international development community is increasingly realizing the vital role that these societal enterprises and social enterprises play in tackling global social challenges. Social entrepreneurship is also seen as a job creation tool in many development countries. These might not have a lot of big or even medium-sized corporations to provide employment opportunities. In India, many believe that social entrepreneurs are key in helping the country develop further in the upcoming years. Numerous firms around the world are admired for their CSR activities and programs, but not many people are aware of businesses that focus on helping and improving the conditions of the world around them. Most would classify such businesses as non-profit or non-governmental organizations since 
they too aim at improving the conditions of local communities. However, there is a whole segment of social entrepreneurship that is dedicated to making products or systems that helps in generating profits which can be used to reinvest in the business for greater purposes. These products or systems are carefully planned so that each step incorporates maximum social benefits such as employing disabled individuals for certain operations to producing a good or service that itself is highly beneficial to local communities when consumed. Corporate social responsibility is the center of social responsibility and social entrepreneurship and that takes it plays a vital role in how a social enterprise conducts itself. However, unlike other corporate firms, CSR is not one of the objectives of the company, rather it is the only goal of a social enterprise and its owners. History of Social Entrepreneurship The social entrepreneurship is the concept of bringing the social change in the society rather than focusing only on profit maximization. The term social entrepreneurship is new concept which came into light just a few decades back. There are many entrepreneurs who established corporate social responsibility based ventures which mainly aims with the social welfare as the topmost business agenda. Vinoba Bhave, the establisher of India's land gift movement which is based upon the concept of social responsibility. The movement focuses on wealthy rich people contributing the share of their land to the poor people for the welfare and improvement of their living standards and improvising their livelihood. The main agenda behind the movement was to decrease the rate of poverty and lack of livelihood in Indian economy. Some of the other entrepreneurs such as Robert Owen, the founder of cooperative movement towards social development, Florence Nightingale, the establisher of the very first nursing school and developer of nursing practicing in the small village of Italy, these entrepreneurs came into light in the late 19th century with their unique concepts and practices of serving towards the social welfare. Entrepreneurial efforts towards social issue. Apart from those entrepreneurs who focus on improvising living standards of poor people through their social entrepreneurial practices, there are some other entrepreneurs who are contributing their efforts towards fighting against the social issues and social injustice against women, especially Indian community. Sampat Pal Devi, the founder of Gulab Gang organization, which works for the welfare and development of women in Indian rural area. India, which is known as a male dominating nation, somehow discriminates the growth and development of women from Indian society, especially in rural areas. The organization by Sampat Pal Devi mainly focuses on providing the opportunities to the victims of domestic violence to become self-independent and motivates the women to grow and create unique self-image in the society. The founder of the organization Sampat Pal Devi from Bundelkhand district Uttar Pradesh, India herself was a victim of domestic violence in her early times of 1980s who faced the situations of dowry, child marriage, etc. She set an example for other women of Indian society to raise their voice for their equal rights and justice. The famous Lijat Papad case introduced by Jaswanti Ben, Jamna Das, Popat, who came up with an idea of creating Papad as the market leading product was the main entrepreneurial objective of women employment as main agenda. Corporate Social Responsibility in India The concept of corporate social responsibility is popularly known since the British Raj. The industries need to contribute some of their profit shares in the development of society and social welfare. The very first phase of CSR in India was from 1850 to 1914 where the industrialists of colonial era had to keep some part of their profit shares for social benefits of society in the form of setting up temples as well as religious institutions. The second phase from 1910 till 1960 during the time of independence period, the Indian political leaders Mahatma Gandhi requested the industrialists to contribute a share of their respective wealth for the benefit of poor people and marginalized ones in the Indian society. 
The third phase that is from 1950 to 1990 which was based upon the public sector undertaking for providing better distribution of wealth in Indian society. The fourth phase of CSR which was from 1980 onwards dealt with liberalization, privatization and globalization. In 1991 when Indian economic policy got reformed, the Indian market invited many foreign companies to invest in Indian economy which also helps in developing the rural area as well. Both social entrepreneurship as well as corporate social responsibility are playing vital role in the development of Indian economy. Nowadays, many big business organizations are trying to bring some innovative ideas in the field of social responsibility of corporate firms. These firms are focusing on a common solution through which both society and corporate enterprises get equally tremendous benefits. A step towards improvising social welfare in the form of opening schools and educational institutions in the small backward rural areas, offering low interest credit benefits to poor farmers in agricultural sector and trying to decrease the rate of deforestation by application of plantation methods in certain areas of the Indian economy. Corporate social responsibility in India is basically targeting the three main areas, human capital, natural capital and social capital with respect to overall development of Indian nation. With the help of CSR, corporate firms are trying to resolve the common social issues of Indian society such as lack of employment, opportunities, high rate of illiteracy, poverty rate, etc. The Indian government has evolved in this movement of social development from many decades and somehow got successful. But corporate social responsibility through corporate has changed the entire scenario in this method. The corporate sector trying to bring a change in the society welfare through its innovative ideas and strategic moves for overall improvement of Indian nation. Growing trends of corporate social entrepreneurship. More and more companies are facing innovation challenges. Competition is extremely high partly because of the advancements brought about by internet and it is becoming tougher and tougher to find entrepreneurial opportunities. Add to this is the fact that how rapidly our actions are destroying the nature and the world around us and there was a need for a new type of entrepreneurship that is corporate social entrepreneurship helps connect today's business with products and services that are meaningful which ensures that sustainability on the world is not dependent only on charity but rather on financial success of these businesses. Examples of Social Entrepreneurs Muhammad Yunus, a social entrepreneur who hails from Bangladesh, came up with the idea of Grameen Bank in 1983 to make small loans to the poor families of Bangladesh as startup money so that they are able to sell small items without any burden of high interest on loan under predatory lending. The bank provides loan to many poor families in Bangladesh with a motive to improve their living conditions which impact an overall development of Bangladesh nation. Mahatma Gandhi's name will always be remembered. That's because he always fought for a cause and that was upliftment of the poor and promoting the local products and the local industry. He always supported the local cottage industry like the khadi. He only did this because he believed in self-reliance. He cared for the welfare of the villagers. Sanjit Roy, also known as Bunker, gave his life fighting the poverty of the nation. He was a graduate from St. Stephen's College, Delhi. He was the founder of the Social Works and Research Center in 1972. SWRC was a step taken to work upon the rural poverty through various ideas and strategy. One of his most successful efforts was the Barefoot College in which the villagers are trained to get mastery in the solar energy, education, healthcare, rural handicrafts, communication and women empowerment. All those things which the villagers could use in their practical life is thought. Dr. G. Venkataswamy is the founder of Arvind Eye Hospital. His extraordinary idea or the step was taken to provide eye facility 
to those people who couldn't afford to seek a quality medical treatment. From only having 11 beds and 4 medical officers, it has now become the world's largest facility for quality health care. Sunil Bharti Mittal is the founder of Airtel. This multi-millionaire is a social entrepreneur too. His main motive of getting into the telecom industry was to drive down the cost of mobiles to allow poor to use mobiles so that they can gather information, news, entertainment and keeping in touch. It has become easier for the farmers to get the information regarding the weather updates and the crops. Super 30 is an example of the practice of social entrepreneurship in the area of imparting education. The Super 30 is an educational program that runs under the banner of Ramanujan School of Mathematics. Its aim is to hunt 30 brainy kids from the backward section of the society and train them from getting through India's most prestigious institution, the Indian Institute of Technology. Since the past years, Super 30 has produced hundreds of IITNs from extremely poor backgrounds. The students are provided with not only free coaching, but also accommodation and food is free of cost. It is the responsible initiative, rather the responsible social initiative for the parents of these poor intellectuals to see their children become world's top technocrats. Concluding our discussion on the area of corporate social entrepreneurship, we conclude that corporate social entrepreneurship helps connect today's business with products and services that are meaningful which ensures that sustainability of the world is not dependent on charity but rather on financial successes of these businesses. Proper water, food, clothing and shelter are required at this very moment for millions. But rather than following emotions, we need to rationally think about these problems and come up with the most beneficial solutions. Thus, using societal challenges as a starting point provides new perspectives and allows for more transformational innovations which is relevant for society. But it also creates new business opportunities and markets at the same time. Besides that these are the challenges that motivate and inspire companies workforce to come up with the new solutions. Thank you.